purpose for the sacrificial system will have met its fulfillment in the middle of that time. How long did Jesus make to be our example? He said that I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Christ is an example for you and me. B, he wants to show us how to love each other. It says he's come to show us the Father. There's a lot of misconceptions. People think that God is this great despot up in the sky that's just waiting for us to do something wrong. God loves us. When Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. I've come to show you the Father. He was in the reflection of the Father. And when you look at Jesus, his love, his mercy, his kindness, his meekness, his tenderness, his patience, you're getting the picture of God, that God that loves you. He also came, of course, to be our substitute, to take our place. He took our badness and he offers us his goodness. He took our sin and he gives us his righteousness. He took our wickedness and he gives us his purity. He takes our weakness and he gives us his strength. He took our shame and he gives us his glory. Somebody wrote this in a way I can't improve on. He descended that we might ascend. He became poor that we might be rich. He was born that we might be born again. He became a servant that we might become sons. He had no home that we might have a home in heaven. He was hungry that we might be fed. He was thirsty that we might be satisfied. He was stripped that we might be clothed. He was forsaken that we might not be forsaken. He was a man of sorrows that we might have joy. He was bound that we might go free. He was made sin that we might be made righteous. He died that we might live. He came down that we might go up. He was born in a barn that we can live in a mansion. And I could go on, friends. Jesus came for that purpose. And he's come to you tonight because he wants to not only be the Christ, he wants to be your savior. Even the centurion who guarded the crucifixion, when he saw the events around the cross and he saw the devil's love for power in the mob and he saw Jesus' power of love, just standing on the sidelines, he said, truly, this was the Son of God. If you read the Bible, you'll find that too. Jesus is the one. He's the Messiah. He's the Savior. And he's come into this world not just to save the whole world, but every individual. He not only died for the sins of the whole world, but he died for your sins. Have you invited him to be your Savior?